Here we're looking at a view of the 89600 VSA software, which has pulled in the measurement segments from the S-series oscilloscope and is performing pulse analysis on it. I can see the FFT of these, in this case, eight pulses that have come in, and I can see the different frequency components of these different pulses. I can see a power view versus time where these eight segments have been placed together in the display. Uh, from the first pulse to the end of the eighth pulse is around seven milliseconds. I can see a time domain view of the amplitude of each of these pulses seen in each one of these segments. And I'm measuring the, or I'm calculating the difference in yellow between the expected and the actual measurement of the amplitude of the pulse and showing pulse by pulse what kind of a difference I see between expected and actual. And then I see in frequency domain with a center frequency here of two and a half gigahertz and plus and minus 100 megahertz, what does the frequency expected and actual look like and the difference between those pulse by pulse? At the bottom of the screen, I'm seeing measurements made on each of the different pulses, time measurements, frequency measurements. Then I can also look at statistics. And for each one of these types of measurements, I can look at the statistics across all of the pulses to see what's happening in my target system. Now, one of the things we could do is we could change the number of pulses being brought in. Right now, we're just doing eight segments from the oscilloscope to look at eight pulses. But under mes setup, measurement setup, I can select pulse properties, time, and I could say instead of a segment count of eight, Perhaps we wanted to have 64 pulses. Now if I do that and I press run, I will capture over a number of seconds the 64 pulses into segments. Now we see them and I'm able to have statistics happening now across a count of 64. And I'm also able to walk through and I can look at these pulses um, one by one. Back in the measurement setup, I can say that I'd like to look instead of at eight pulses, I'll say I'd like to look at one. And then it zooms in on a single pulse and I can look at these one by one and consider how the frequency is comparing to the expected, how the amplitude varies from the expected, and then I see the whole picture up top.